I, I was sent a link to this, Fezzi. It was uh, the Fez rules as posted by Matty Fridays last night. Oh, okay. And I don't have it because our intern here was just really useless. Yeah, he is uh, no cigar set. He's Harry somebody. He's the anti set. Yeah. Uh, he didn't bring all the plugs for a computer tonight. But basically, and I want to bring everybody in to see if they uh, honestly feel this way, because most of these people have had to serve you one, one way. And I don't know whether it's true or not. Okay. <clears throat> but this is what Matty Friday's put up. This is called the Fez Rules. The first one, Mikey, did you see it also? Yeah, I saw it. All right. So the first one says, no touching Fez's food or drink before, uh, other than the waitress, even if you're the one who purchased it for him. Uh, yeah. Apparently he tried to touch your food or drink last night. I don't remember that, but yeah, that's definitely a rule. And also give Fez three feet of space at all times. And three, never shake hands with Fez unless he tries to shake hands with you first. Really? All right, I agree with the first two. What happened last night? I have these no rules had to be made up. I have no I idea. Do you Mikey? know Mikey? Mikey, no, were you was... off the couch with Wonder Boy long enough for, for us to see what happened? <laughs> that was here? odd. That was very mannish. There was one other thing that he said as well. Where's Dumpy? And that was, you have to be cool if you have a, a laminate with a chain around your neck. All right, but let's go into the actual. Yeah. Fe yeah. What, uh, the, now, do you think that was a shot at Fez, or this is uh, Fez's thing? No, that's a shot at Fez. I mean, all of them. Yeah. Can you, do you have to stand three feet away from Fez? No, I don't think so. Does uh, anyone here think you have to? I would appreciate it. <laughs> what, let's see three feet. How far is Dumpy from you now? Three feet is a yard. All right, so that's about, Dumpy's about a yard away? That's not a normal amount of space that one human would give another. That's personal space. That's the usual private space there. All right, now what is the story? All you guys have probably, all the previous interns have had to grab Fez's food before. Is he nervous about that? I know when I Why are him. you using the mic? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Go ahead. Mr. Not Sid. <laughs> Go ahead, Harry Elvis. I know he's very particular about uh, how you handle his food. Like, I had to bring him a soda can, and I opened it for him to be nice, and he was a little annoyed because he likes to... He has a certain way he likes to clean the top. All right, now you're Howard Hughes, because he... <laughs> people have to be careful about germs. They don't have to be careful about germs. I don't like people opening my sodas. Why? What do you think? They're dropping dope in it? Their hands are right there on the top of the can where I drink. And and But here's another thing. And it's not just the person. Yeah. A lot of times if you get a can of soda, the can is dirty. Right. And if you don't wash it off and then you go ahead and open it, yeah. then I can't go ahead and wash it. You could be opening a dirty can. And you know me, Ronnie. Yeah. I don't like to have a dirty can. Isolation. <laughs> what? You know I what I mean. All right, what was the other thing? Right, you don't touch his food or drink, uh, and shaking hands. She, yeah, the rule was, uh, if I remember it right, you, you don't shake, shake hands, hands with Fez unless he offers his hand first. All right, you got a germ thing. Does it bother you to shake hands with people? It can bother me to shake hands with people. It has bothered me in the past. I thought I had worked my way around it. But every now and then, if I get a little claustrophobic, people-wise... Yeah, I, I, I have a problem shaking hands. Really? My hand will break out. I will break out. If I shake a lot of people's hands that I, Howard Hughes now. that I don't know. And you think you're getting germs from them? I'm not getting germs, but I'm getting hives. Here, say here, Dumpy, you're allowed to shake my hand. See where Dumpy's hand is touching mine? Yeah. Like his thumb goes over the webbing, and then his fingers go across the side of my hand? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I will get hives. I will get all broken out in that area. I... If it happens a lot, if it's continual handshaking all night like, long. Like you couldn't be the president. No, because my hand would absolutely be raw and from would, rubbing and hives. And you would be shaking hands with foreigners. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, out of everybody here, which one would gnarl you the most to shake hands with? Out of everybody here? Yeah. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Billy, come on over. You now, you think it's because Billy has germs? Uh, I think Billy's probably the less hygienic of anybody here. All right, why don't you do this, Billy? I won't even check. See if you'll, you have the guts to put your own fingers in your mouth. Look at that, Fez. He's willing to suck on it. He's sucking on his own fingers. And look at me itch. <laughs> look at me scratch. 
There are more germs in a mouth than on a finger, so you got nothing to worry about there. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't mouth. know. The human mouth has more germs. What, you, what litter box are you eating out of that that's true? What are you saying? Fez makes out with you and he's fine with it, but he won't uh, suck your fingers? No, there's nothing. <laughs> there, are more germs, there are more germs in Fez's mouth than there are in my fingers, so. So right. I should put your fingers in my mouth? All right, Fezzy, anybody in the room that you would put their fingers in the mouth? Is there... Oh. Um... Gee, no. Nobody's. Oh, I know who's I'd put in my mouth. <laughs> I'd put her toes in my mouth to start. Tenacious. As I look over at Tenacious C, I'm looking around the room. Is there anyone whose fingers I would trust? Tenacious C actually is biting her nails and has her fingers in her own mouth. So you disqualified yourself immediately. You would not put your, uh, her fingers in your mouth? No. I wouldn't do it. I'm not his favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't put cigar sits in my mouth either. I would eat her panties on a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally put it on a hoagie roll and enjoy. I don't think I have a germ thing at all. I definitely have a germ thing. We used to have, as we're doing old intern and old producer night here... We used to have someone uh, on the show, Tasteless Jenny, and she would bring in, she would get me a water or a can of soda, and it would sit there on the console. But then, here, I'll stand up and I'll demonstrate. She always wore this ratty Mankind t-shirt. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and she would lean over to get something like this, Ronnie, and that shirt would hit the top of my water bottle or soda can, and even if it, I hadn't even opened it yet, <laughs> in the garbage. I would throw it in the garbage. Because I can't have someone's old t-shirt wiping across the top of a can that I'm going to drink out of. I don't even understand that. And I always, anytime I drink out of a can, I wash the lid. I wash right, the top off. Could you drink water through Billy's t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> if we poured it through. Billy, no. would you do it? No! Of course I would do it. Right. Cleaner than anybody else's right, clothes you in here. You got a t-shirt on? Yeah. All right, get, pull it out. Oh, no. Pour some water, throw it into a cup, and then Billy will drink <laughs> it for us. Would you do it with anybody else's? No, I trust myself. I don't trust any of these guys. All right. Thanks for blowing, blowing the gimmick. All right, let me see if he'll do it. Go grab a cup. We got some water here. And, oh, God, the shirt just came up. All right, here's the problem. Now, um, all right, now the three feet rule? Yeah. Billy's across the room, and his stomach is still violating that. His stomach, he just picked up his T-shirt, and that big gut just about hit me in the cheek. Would you like Billy's scar? <laughs> is that Billy's, Billy's scar? scar? No. How about the pus sack? No, and I see the pus sack is wearing a big bandage today. Is it formal night? <laughs> Why do you have a bandage on your pus sack? It's, it was injected three times today. With steroids. Oh, you trying to get it bigger? Is yeah. that it? <laughs> My pus sack's working out. What, what, yeah, what's your pus sack benching now? Here's the water. We got a cup. All right, he's going to pour through his own dirty Billy t-shirt and then drink. It's not a dirty Billy. It's Everything about you is filthy. Everything about you is filthy. All right, there it is being poured through. And Fezzi, I'm hoping that you'll learn from this. There it is. That's plenty. That's a that's a whole cup full right there. And it's, right. and Ronnie, it's the part of his T-shirt that hits that big, deep, cavernous belly button where where people mine lint, where the lint miners work. All right, let me see you take a big slug of it, Billy. First of all, why is everyone quivering and like it's a friggin' water through In a piece of cotton? Right. The cotton was stuck in your belly button. Oh, he's drinking his shirt water. Look at Hawk's going to puke. Hawk, that grosses you up. You're a germaphobe too, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> that is so disgusting. Oh, Billy flicked the water on Hawk. I'll drink out of Hawk's shirt. Would you really? Yeah. Hawk, let him drink out of your shirt. And then you drink out of his. I won't drink out of his. He can drink out of mine. All he wants. All right, what about his underwear? Just the top band of his underwear. <laughs> the they top wear still. Yeah. Well, are they clean? Yes, they're clean. Of course, it's the hawk. Are they boxes of briefs? Come on, let's do this. Briefs. Don't make his bed. Okay, I'll do it. All right, there he goes, Fezzy. All right, come over to the water fountain. And I hope that this makes you feel better about yourself, Fezzy. You give me a wedge. <laughs> 
Yeah. It's going to give me a wedgie. <laughs> Let me just Well, then say, we'll run the water through that end. They're tidy whitey. Oh! oh. Uh, that's so cute. See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he doesn't want the nation's seat to see his underpants. I thought we were doing the t-shirt first. Now nah, we're going right for the underpants. Made in Arabia. <laughs> right, there it is. Drew his underwear. His old yellow underwear. And Billy's going to drink it. There you go. Did we get enough? And you? Oh, yeah. All right, now you won't even shake a hand, Fuzzy. And look what Billy's doing. He's drinking underpant soup. I don't know what is wrong. Just, yeah, come on. One no, step. get that cup away from me. It's been through hot shorts. Smell it. You want to smell no. it? No. Hold on. Hawk, what did you have for lunch today? I get pizza. <laughs> Pea green soup. <laughs> drink it. Are you going to drink it, Billy? There he is. He's drink so polite. Pinky out. He's gargling with it. Oh, Hawk, this is... It's good? <laughs> it's even better than before? It's not as clean as my T-shirt, but it's not bad. <laughs> there it goes. Maybe we'll Another we... cup of underwear water. What if we do this later tonight, Billy? We pour uh, water through stuff, and then you have to guess what you just drank. <laughs> Only if somebody joins me. Somebody else he has to grow a set of balls on him. Come on. We're a wizard. We're brave people. <laughs> You've actually cleared the room. Harry cowering in the corner. Right, Harry, do you want to take him on? Puss boy, come on. <laughs> no, it's an awful thing to do. It's not a, uh, an issue of pride, Billy. It's a human body. What is wrong with a human? Oh, that's right. You've, you've never had sex. sex. Watch. That's right. You've never had sex. You've never right. touched another right, body. If you're not going to do it, get away then, Harry. You have, you're standing in the shadow of Billy right now. We're looking for brave people. I'll do it. Oh! oh! I have no problem doing it. <laughs> not, no kind of germ stuff bothers you at all? No, not at all. I, I, you know, like, I'll sit there and, like, if I got, like, dirt on me, you know, yeah, I'll, you're fine I'll, I'll, eat it. I'll take a taste of it. I don't mind. <laughs> Why would you eat the dirt that's on your body, you idiot? It's clean. It's, I have no problem with it at all. You'll do underwear, too? Yeah, I'll, I'll do the underwear. Oh, good. Right, Mikey, guys, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. All right, what if we say this? All right, go ahead. I got scabby D underwear. That's right. They forgot that. All right, hold on. There's got to be one no, thing. No, no, no. You said you do underwear. It can't be anything that has to do with Billy, because Billy is the most no, disgusting it's be person. With Billy. Yeah, I'll say that. You said you were going to go back and forth with Billy. All right, yes, I will. All right, first things first. You guys take off your socks. You pour water through the sock, and the other guy has to drink that. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at Mike. He's got no problems in the world. Off come the boots. All right. All right, Roy's got a sock. And if you like to play this at home, you have to do it with friends. Oh, God, look at Billy's sock. Look at how big Billy's sock is and how dirty it is. All right, here, I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to do this. Hand me your three socks. This I can do. What's that? I just want to see who has the worst one. All right, are you going to stick wolf? Yeah. All right. All right, Rory's, yours stinks like old spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I don't know what's coming out the soles of your feet, but that is old spaghetti sauce. Mikey D, not bad. Mikey D perfumes all over. <laughs> it really it does have like a cologne thing you to it. Can you like, something into your socks, Mikey? Just downy. And what do you... What? <laughs> And I know that you're on a uh, uh, some kind of a Greek regiment right now, right? Yes, I am. So you should be pretty pure. Yes, I am. No, no beef products. No, what no, else? No beef. Nothing from an animal. No pork. No pork. No fish. No, no fish. All right, so you should be good. Mikey sock actually has that new shoe smell. Nice. Thank Are you, you, Mikey. Are you using cologne tonight, Mikey? I never use cologne. Uh, all right. And all right, Billy. now the piaster is resistance. <laughs> Now Billy's filth. Look, Look at the size. What size shoe do you wear? And I know what. You didn't get that sock dirty just wearing it one day. <laughs> I, no, I had it on early this morning going to Dr. Demento. Um, <laughs> that's a size, I wear a size 13 shoe. <laughs> really, Krusty? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this thing a whiff. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, is that sour. That is sour cream that went bad, that got left in the fridge. That is a dairy sour smell. That is old milk. Are you giving milk, Billy? Is there milk coming out of your pores? 
No, I may have dripped a little in my sneaker or something at one point, but no, I don't usually, you know, pour milk in my feet. Wow, are you a... Sa you know, when people say you're a bitter man, it's because you smell so sour. Um, it's not because of your attitude. No, it's actually, I do have very sweaty toes. That's my problem. I have sweaty toes. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a problem for him. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is drink out of the, through the... We're going to pour the water through the socks. Pour the water through the sock, and they have to drink the sock distilled water. Each other. Yeah. All right. Not their own. What we'll do is we'll fill up a glass. We'll have a Rory glass, a Mikey D glass, and a Billy glass all from their socks. Mm -hmm. And then they can pass the glasses around. The might, cups around. Might I also add I have a uh, case of athlete's foot on that foot also. <laughs> Well, someone's going to have a case of athlete's tongue. One of your best is going to end up with trench mouth. That's right. A bad case of trench mouth. All right, Fezzi, let me ask you this before we start this. Okay. Who's going to punk and who's going to stick? Uh, Billy will do it all. Billy will drink all three. Rory will punk out. I will say this. Mikey D will be our winner. Mikey D will never stop anything he sets his mind to. Let me check with Tenacious C. Tenacious C, who would you bet on in this? Who do you think is going to win this competition of drinking the uh, sock juice? Mikey looks all calm, but definitely Billy, because he's got the least to lose. So. Right, that's true. <laughs> Just zero pride. Just what exactly does that mean? <laughs> all right, we'll take a break, quick break. We'll come back and do this. It's a gross out contest. If you got any ideas for what you want these guys to do to gross each other out, 866-277-4969, 866-277-4969, Fez. It's getting gross in here. It's the Ron and Fez show. Rod Bennington, Fez Wiley with you live on a Wednesday. Kind of a gross out competition going on between Billy Staples, Mikey D, our announcer, and producer Rory Hamptons doing a few gross stunts to see who's going to back out first. What we've done so far is uh, people have drank out of some water. <laughs> I can't even describe this. They drank a cup of water that was drained through Billy's T-shirt, which, trust me, is a sight. He's filthy. He's a mess. And Billy also drank some water that was drained through Hawk's underpants. Now, Fezzi, I don't, uh, I'm not queasy about anything, and I couldn't do this in a million years. I couldn't drink water through somebody's sock. That's disgusting to me. That is the next event here. We're going to pour water through a sock into a cup. Every, there'll be a Rory cup, a Mikey D cup, and a Billy cup, and everyone has to drink from each cup. Now, I'm even sickened that these maniacs came up with this idea. Oh, and they love it. All right. Uh, first, uh, let's see how we should do this. Let's start easy, and we'll drink through Mikey D's. Mikey D, before the break, I checked out the smell of everybody's sock. Yeah. Mikey D's actually smells like a brand new sock, fresh sure. out of the dryer, baby. Mikey, are you, is it winter? What's with the heavy wool socks? Why do you worry about that? It's going to take, gonna take forever to get the wool. Why are you playing no. head games with him? <laughs> you get, you stay out of his kitchen. He knows what he's doing. All right, here comes the water. Why don't one of you guys do this so Fez doesn't have to worry about it? All right, we got the water going through. Hey, it doesn't have to be too much. This is a very thick sock. How are we doing, though? Are we getting it filled up? Yeah. <laughs> He's squeezing it like a bladder. You really have to. This is yeah. not just... All right, so there. I just wrung it, the sock out into the cup. Perfect. That's the way to go. All right, that is the Mikey D cup. All right, Mikey, uh, you take a drink of your own. And keep them going, because everybody's going to do each other's. So uh, after that, Roy will take a hit of Mikey D's. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Give me the Roy sock. Bottoms up. Filling up. Mmm, downy. <laughs> All right, go ahead, take a drink. That's oh. wrong. Oh. 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 What's wrong, Rory? It tastes like sweat and like detergent and like just dirt. You're not used to detergent. <laughs> and dirt. All right, now, Billy, take a big slug. And you are drinking water that has been drained through Mikey D's sock. All right, this reminds me of church. <laughs> Why? Why? You go to a sock church? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> a little fluffy. All right, a little fluffy there. Oh, God. All right, whose sock are we going through now? Next, we are drinking the water that has been drained through Rory's sock. <laughs> Billy, 
really? Are you all right? You're burping up sock water. Yeah, it's just, no, it's just some fur balls. Like, all right, Rory, you go ahead. You're drinking your own sock water at this point. No, it actually looks pretty clear. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Everyone tries to compliment no. their own sock water. Ooh. Refreshing, actually. Very refreshing. Oh, shut, shut up. up. You're a big man. You're an epic big. All right, go ahead, Mikey. All right, Mikey D drinks it. Pretty good to be. Why is it that they take a sip and I get left with the whole cup? Just drink. No one told you that you had to kill it. Man, alcoholic. Go ahead. You wonder Slam why you're down. an addict. Slam it down, big man. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. It's all right. It tastes like beer. <laughs> Are you drinking last night? <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of beers. You're sweating that through your feet. Great. You just gave up Billy's four months sober <laughs> by drinking your foot sweat, which permeates with beer. Where your sock water actually has an aftertaste. All right. Now we're going to go to Billy's sock. No, Roy, you go first. You go first, Roy. All right. Now, Billy, let me just, I, I drained the water through the socks. Yeah. Let me just say, it was a little harder with Rory and Mikey's socks because they're human socks and they, you know, people update their wardrobe. This thing of Billy's was so thin, it was like pouring water through cotton candy. There's a picture of the cats and jammer kids on the side. No. I don't know when he bought these socks. These socks are so worn thin. Yeah. The only thing holding them together are the dirt molecules. Sure. They're actually from the movie Gasoline Alley. Let me see that cup first. Because I have sweaty toes. It's not even clear. You're right. This water is yellow. Oh. This water is a yellow gray. It's foggy water. It's foggy <laughs> bottom, boys. It's from the athlete's foot. Why should oh. your your socks be nicotine stained? <laughs> no. If you understand, athlete's foot has it changes your your toes between the toes a different color. It's like a yellow. I can wow. help that. It's in condition. Sure. So you have, not only do you have athlete's foot, you have that toenail fungus you always see on TV. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, oh, the, I the thick yellow nail. There's a fungus among us. I think I'm going to puke before I even right. take this. Go ahead. Take a big sh Take drink. a big one. Now, don't be a puss. All right. That's a pretty good drink. Oh, <coughs> Keep it down. What's it taste like, Roy? Is it good? It. <laughs> what? It tastes like sewer water. Like water, like rain runoff water that's just been there for weeks. <laughs> like out of the gutter, like you were drinking from yeah. the rain gutter? He's crying. I oh. love it. You that probably, probably got to. the hardest, uh, the worst <laughs> thing I've ever drank in my life. Oh, he's shattering. You want another swig? No, no more. All right, Mikey, go ahead. Best of luck to you, buddy. Enjoy it, Mikey. Cheers. Oh, well, that's the worst tasting out of the three. <laughs> I would say the whole planet. You don't even have to go now. All right, go ahead, Billy. Drink it. Well, it's a very good year. <laughs> 68 when you bought the damn socks. Oh, all right, you're so uh, sad. Uh, Best everyone, of them all. Best of them all. All right, is everybody still involved in this? Everyone still ready? Everyone still in? Raise your hand if you're still in. All right. All right, everybody's still in. There we go. Time to break out for round two of the big uh, guns. Harry Elvis, if you'll do the honors, please. He has taken off his underwear. Oh, oh, no. Armenian DVDs. No. His big, clunky DVDs. Anybody can get out of this now if they would like to. Are they supposed to be that color? I'm yeah, yeah. supposed to be that big. <laughs> I'm going to need someone on the other side of the room to stretch these out with me. Who is willing to drink out of his dick? No one will think less of you if you back out now. But who will drink out of his dingy underwear? Who's going to be the man on the show? Can we see the inside? Can you turn him inside out? Sure. Help yourself. Sure. It's like you're, you're like you're picking out a lobster. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, we see, uh, yes, there is a smattering of bacon strip. <laughs> but just a smattering. Just a smattering. Rory, it's up to you. Are you in or out? Rory, are you in or are you out? No one will think less of you. I'm in. Wow! Oh! Mikey D? The Annie has just been upped. I'm pur <laughs> purifying myself tomorrow morning, so I'm fine. I'm in. Mikey D is in. Billy Staples. Why even ask? I know. It's he, a free beverage. He was drinking through them before the show, but when he didn't even have to. I never thought I'd say this, but I probably had worse in my mouth than that already. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>
Which one? <laughs> <coughs> so, oh, all right, Harry. We're going to pour the water uh. through those giant Armenian BVDs. What is the make there, Fez? I've never quite seen that that bad. Okay. It's for the loom? Yeah, I didn't see. I never. I didn't understand it when it was that stretched out. It's. A, it looks like a banner plane. <laughs> it's flying the words "Fruit of the Loom" over the studio. That's how stretched out the big fat waistband is. Loom. Loom has five O's in it. <laughs> Fruit of the Loom. All right, we have a I'm cup so full of underwear water. And you know what? I know that you guys think that you're doing this for the show, but I couldn't be more grossed out, and I have less respect for all of you right now. I love and it. Harry, you going in the other room and taking off your underwear. I know. Knowing right now that Harry Elvis is commando and standing right next to me, I'm all weirded out. Now, you're going to go do stand-up in a few minutes. Are you yeah. going to wear wet underwear or none? I'm going to have to wear wet underwear. I'm not going out <laughs> with none. You're good. All right. I would say something, but it would ruin the joke. He's going to put on that wet underwear. It's going to soak through his pants, and he'll be on stage with a giant wet spot. When isn't he? Good point. That's the first time he took off his underwear besides changing his underwear, so. Sad. Because he's a virgin? Yeah, that's it. Like a oh, virgin. Oh, I see. Hey! Rory Hamptons, you're up first with underwear water. Rory, if you don't do it, no one's going to think the less of you. I I know I'm going to regret this, but i got to do it. I can't imagine. Rory sounds like he's already losing his voice. Apparently, Rory, dirty socks and underwear really... I will tell uh, you this before you drink, though. He has spanked in these underwear he oh. told me about, and he's been ill lately. <laughs> <laughs> he has been ill, that's true. His undersars. When is laundry day in the Armenian house, by the way? What month? <laughs> it's going to taste like the rock down by the river. I know that he changed those underwear yesterday. He changed them with his brother. Oh. <laughs> it's the underwear exchange program. All right, I got to do it now, then. Yeah. Nice big sip. Oh. Big sip. Big sip. Big sip. Keep it down. <coughs> Roy's really coughing this thing up. <coughs> Roy, hang in there, buddy. It's already done your gullet. Yeah, you drank it. You're already there. You already have Harry's underwear taste inside your stomach. Harry underwear taste inside your stomach. H A I R E. Why? It's making me gag. I understand. Keep it down. How did it taste? Can you describe it? It, it just tasted horrible. I don't even. I can't even. Horrible or good? It was like horrible acid. in a good way. It was like acidy. With an A-S-S? -S? Yeah. <laughs> it was ass city. <laughs> What'd you say? It was like D-C cake? <laughs> it was very like, it was like almost like old cheese and like... Oh! Come on, the cheese! Old D-Cheese. All right. Now you're acting like you're sick. I, it's, it's you want another really, sip to no, get that done? No, no, that, that's, that's it. Some of the cheese? That's all. That's all. All right, you did it. Right now you're in the lead. Give yourself a hand. Nice, pat yourself on the back. Mikey D, are you ready for There's the Harry, my Mikey for the Harry Elvis underwear? Don't drink it all, Billy. Has to have some. Salty. Oh, you're so gross, you idiots! And now we pass the cup, the holy cup of underwear juice. Well, it's only because there's holes in his underwear. We pass it to Billy Staples. Why would you smell it first? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. He's making room for it. <laughs> what? It, it's like bleach. Ammonia. What are you washing your underwear with? Oh, it's, it's totally acidic. It's Clorox? That's yeah. weird. Both of you have said there's an acidy taste to his ass. Maybe uh, your mom is uh, bleaching uh, the bottom of those. She usually uses bleach, yeah. Because she you, has to. You leave well, them no. stained? No, I'm not. Not at all. It's just, you know, she's, she's got to get them white. There's more skid marks out there than the dullest runway. <laughs> Better check your brakes. <laughs> the skid marks you're leaving behind. All right, anybody want to get out of the gross out contest now? To me, you're, you're all winners. Who wants out? They're all winners. Anybody want out? 
Only at the Special Olympics. Or else I'm going to go to the phones, and that'll be the next thing set up. All right. Bill, uh, Billy, are you in or out? In. Billy's in. Mikey D? Mikey D. I'm in. Mikey D is in. Rory in or out? I'll, I'll bid. I'll Rory's bid. in. My prediction is Billy would win, Rory would buckle. I'm, I'm looking good on half of that so far. All right. If you want uh, to see who's going to break the tie here, 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. It's the producer gross out contest, Fuzzy. Now that you've all committed to be in to the third round, whatever call we go to, you're committed to it. Larry, you're on running, Fez. Uh, it looks like he's going to out to put on his wedding. Hey, fellas. <laughs> hey, Larry. I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'd like to go back to the sock, but this time we'd like to swish it around in your mouth, sit it back in the cup, and pass it to the guy to the right. Oh! All right, that does sound fair. <laughs> I, I, think just... it's, I think it's more than fair, Ron. All right, it, all right, now let's go back over everybody. Rory, are you still in? It's up to you, buddy. I'm going to have to pass on that one. You're out? I'm out. All right. Oh. Oh. It, that just another man's saliva. <laughs> my, I can't. I can't. All right, you would have been the first to swish. Now it's up to the Golden <laughs> Greek. It's up to the Golden Greek. What do you think, Mikey? That's fine. Wow. Wow. Billy? He can't silence Spank. He can silence Spank, but he can't do this. I'm in. This is a piece of cake. All right, Larry, yours is going to come through first. Who's sock? All right, yeah. Can we just use one sock for the sake of time? Uh, let's use uh, Silence Mikey Spankers. Mikey would like he uses. All right, Silence Spankers. That was a fine one, wasn't it, Mikey? All right, we'll go in between. Mikey's yeah. was the freshest. Billy's was the worst. <laughs> we'll go ahead. And fill up a Rory sock. And it doesn't have to be totally filled. Just get us about halfway. Mikey, you will start it off. You'll swish it around in your mouth. Spit it back in. And then Billy will drink. And then I just put it back in. And then he takes it back again, right? Because he has to get my saliva. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. Correct. Yes. Otherwise, I'm Or else you're the only one drinking saliva. Right. Like, I have to say that on the air. I feel like an idiot. Well, so. I'm the only one who drank Hawk underwear water, so I just wanted to make it clear. And you still have wood. Oh, that's the grossest yet. Now, shouldn't it be I do it, give it to you, and then you do your own and give it to me? Yeah, yes, I think that's, that's exactly that's what he said. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, here's the first one. Mix it around. If you can loosen anything, I don't know whether you flossed or not tonight. Try to loosen whatever you can. Let's hear it swish in your mouth. Ew. Okay. <laughs> that's back in. All right, he swished it around pretty good there. All right, now remember, he is dr drinking backwash sock water. There's bubbles. There shouldn't be bubbles in this water. <laughs> so now I put this in my mouth, swish it around, spit it back in here again, yeah. right? It is sock. Or do I have to swallow it? No, uh, you have to swish it and spit it back in. Yes, you know how to swish. No, I'm getting yeah, a lot of saliva. He's getting a loogie going. I'm getting a lot of saliva going. He's getting a loogie going, you gross no. bastard. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's a <laughs> now Mikey's mad that Billy gargled. <laughs> he is swishing, that's for sure. Mikey, nobody's going to think you're a lesser man for dropping out of this. You're a pig. Yeah, you're a Billy pig. Staples is a pig. You're a filthy. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. That came out. Back out of Billy's mouth. Thanks, so thick. Orange and thick. Fezzy, uh, there was orange. The way he gargled, uh, I'm going to be tasting his two wives here. I oh! <laughs> you are sick, Billy. I had beef stew for dinner. I think a little floaters are in there. Yeah, a week ago. So now I have to drink this, right? Yeah. All right. No, Mikey. Don't do it. Mikey, you no can... No one thinks less you. You can bail out now, and Billy would be the gross-out champion tonight. Oh. He's, still, he's drinking. I did it. What's it? He did it. He drank it. This was what, he, what Mikey D just drank. We drained uh, water through Roy's stinking sock. Filled up a cup. Mikey swished it around his mouth, put it back in. Billy then took that swish sock water in his mouth, swished it even more, gargle with it, spit it back in the cup. Mikey just drank it down. It was actually foam. It tasted like fish. All right. Oh! 
And you know it's and a by, great holiday here. And by that he means a pagoda. Oh! <laughs> uh. All right, do you want to keep this going? It's up to you guys. Billy? I don't just... I'm in, Mikey. I just... I feel bad for you. You know, you're looking a little green. That's Greek. I'm okay. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. They're both in. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back and keep this going. If you want any of these guys to do anything to gross each other out, it's been filthy so far. 866-277-4969. It's a run fest show. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and see the grossest show on earth. We're Ron and Fez in the middle of a gross-out competition, and it may have gone on too long, Ronnie. I think that it has gone on too long, and I'm very uncomfortable. When I dove away after Mikey drank that backwash from Billy, and then I didn't hear anything out of you, and I turned around and you were retching in the corner, I'm like, this is not what our show's about. If I had tried to speak during that, stuff would have come out of me. Now, why, why are you trying to gross out? <laughs> the gross out competition, it started with Mikey D, Billy Staples, and Rory Hamptons. Rory bailed before the backwash competition where we ran water through Rory's stinking sock. The guys gurgled it in their mouths. Billy gargled. They swished it around, spit it back in the cup, and they each drank each other's spit as well as sock water. No way could I do this. So that, that was the last competition we had. Rory's out. We're down to two. Billy Staples and Mikey D. Ronnie, you're taking Mikey D. I got Billy Staples. You had Rory. How did you get Billy all of a sudden? I said Rory would be the one who punks out. Here's the thing. That was my radio psychic. Rory is always your boy. Why? You know why. He's here for one reason. He's your guy. And you know that, right, Rory? Right. You know how many times Fez has saved your job? <laughs> and Mikey's been there on rides home. When I'm going, why? And Fezzy always says potential. And I go, potential for what? Anyway. So Rory, Rory's always yours. Now this Billy, he's a wild card, Fez. He can't be tamed. No one gets to bet on him. That's like picking the Yankees. <laughs> he's the Yankees of gross out. He's got 27 World Series championships. It's hysterical. He's sitting here in a gross-out competition with a giant bandage across this pus sack that's growing out of the bottom of his chin. Like you, the uniform. He also just had something lasered off your D the other day, right? Yeah, I had three, uh, three more bumps lasered off, and I have uh, oozing scabs down there on my D. And I also have an oozing chin right now. They're like stalagmites growing off of them. How much stuff is hanging off of you that needs to be burned off? It was remnants that they didn't get the first time because they had they had uh, burned off so much the first time. Once the scab heals, there was still some other ones left there. All right, all right. Underneath there, you were now also be... all three of these guys drank uh, water that was purified through Harry Elvis's big giant <laughs> Armenian fruit of the looms. <laughs> Harry's underwear was so gigantic. We drained the water through it. They all took a they all took a big hit. Sail. Look like a sail. <laughs> and then Harry <laughs> And then Harry's waddling around the hallways because he can't stand not having underwear on, so he went and put his wet shorts back on. Steve, Steve, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, hey Ron Fez, how you doing guys? Hey buddy. That was one of the grossest things I've ever heard in my life. I was really you know, uncomfortable with it though. You know the glands behind the back of your jaw? Yeah. When, right before you get sick, they start to water and, and get real tart. Sure. I'm driving down the road. I swear to you, I had to pull over because I lost my cookies. I almost had to pull over, and I'm not even driving. I'm oh, sorry about that, Steve. Take and, care, you know, guys. I like when people say about us, you know, they're a smart show. You really have to listen to them for a while. <laughs> Here's uh, Kent. Kent, you're on running Fez. Hey, Billy. Billy? Yeah. Yeah. You're the sickest person on the earth. There's something seriously wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. What is? What are you? What are you doing? I'm a competitor. <laughs> it's so simple. You when you compete, you play to win. There's you, nothing on the line here. It doesn't matter. I'm a natural winner. Thank you know, you're you. not a winner. You're just a oh, God. Oh, freak. I right, thank you. You know, if that was true, why don't you try to win at life once? I am winning at why life. Why is it's it always slow, stupid bar games? No, it's just a slow process. <laughs> In the end, I'll, I'll be victorious. The five rehab, twice divorced, living at home with his mom, just said, I'm a winner at everything. Uh, Morris, you're on Fez. Hey, Ron Fez. How goes it tonight? Hey, buddy. Hey, listen, I got one for them to try. Yeah. How about, is Tanisha C still there? Mm, she just left. Uh, I was going to say they can run it through her underwear. 
Because mm-hmm. if done, they have to run it through the cross, but she's gone, huh? Let me tell you something. That would be that would be a pleasure. They'd all be fighting for that. I'd be pulling Kool-Aid through there, poisonous Kool-Aid. <laughs> she is so effing hot. She's great, the tenacious C. You know, the two guys that are lucky enough to get her... There's something. They had to get. They had to count their blessing. Those two guys. She always keeps two boyfriends and just keeps them each on the other side of the fence. She's like an Italian man. It's it's all matitude with her. Uh, here is uh, Jamie. Jamie, you're on Run of Fez. Jamie. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. I got something for him to do. All right, I'm already time for some toe sucking action. Toe sucking. Old news. I love to be tell suck a toe. <laughs> Why did you turn Cajun? Suck a toe. It's like it reminds me of a vegetable. Suck a toe. So grossed out, Mikey. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I have clean toes. I know you don't. Billy doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that athlete's foot. You gotta be careful. One foot, one foot is clean. One foot is infected. Take your choice. Choose wisely. The the lady's foot or the tiger's foot? I guess. What an idiot! Uh, You're like playing gross poker, where I don't know whether you're bluffing or not, but it's too scary. Mikey, it's up to you. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Ah! Mikey is out. Doesn't Billy have to suck Mikey's toes though to prove it? No. He, yeah, no. you really do. You, I mean, you re- you didn't finish the round. Can we get a clarification on the rules? No, what he's saying uh, is you got to be the last person to do it. All right, whip it out. Oh. Hey. The toe. Oh. <laughs> Real quick, because I'm so grossed out by this, and it's very homoerotic to begin with. What do you want, a big toe, big Mikey? Toe or little toe, Mikey. What's your pleasure? Whatever you like. Whatever you like, Billy. All right, Mikey D, can you get your foot? Well, you're a former dancer. You can get your foot up here. Let me check out this foot here. There's some sock lint on the bottom. Yeah, there's something on the bottom there. The sock lint. Oh, Oh. God. Um, I'll go for the... No, I'll go for the biggie. All right, go ahead, Billy. So uh, I just have to suck it or lick it? Uh, both. (laughs) I did... (laughs) <laughs> he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Not yet. See, Hold you're on. not the winner yet, my Hold friend. Hold on. You know, Wait, so I was look just... at the guy running our board, our sound board, is running to the other room, wonder board. You have to stay at the board. I'm just gauging my distance here, getting ready. Billy, there's Billy down on it. He's puckering up. Like it was his bad uncle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he licked the nail and then <laughs> sucked the dough. It's linty. <laughs> Mikey, you got the fresh. On your toes. We have a champion. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. Woo! Billy is the gross out champion of the show. And Billy, I don't even think a listener could beat you. <sighs> It'd be very I don't tough. Think anybody could. It'd be very tough, Ron. It would be very tough. I uh, I have very high standards when it comes to competition. I, I will say this: you're the grossest man I think I've ever seen. No, you are so it's... nice. I think it's the most competitive man you've ever seen. And here's the problem, Mikey. You were just running all on hard. It's not something you... Billy would be doing this anyway. Well, if you didn't have the athlete's foot, I probably would have done it. I think you fell into his mind games. Maybe I did. I think he, you let him gross psych you out. You will never know. Well, a good poker hand. You fold or you foot. I tasted you the water through your sock, so... Oh. That came from me. Here is uh, Kenny. Kenny, you're on run of What's happening, guys? What's going on with you? Go ahead. I kind of think that uh, Mikey should still be in the contest, because I'm not sure which is worse, sucking Billy's toes or having Billy Staple suck your toes. That is pretty gross. Yeah, Look, pretty I've gross. sucked a lot of toes in my time and never had a complaint before, so. Oh, God. You're big into the feet? Yeah. Matt, Matt, you're on run of Fez. Hello, Matt. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Two real quick things. One, Don from the Don and Mike show could definitely beat him because that bastard eats his scabs and boogers. And two, Billy, you said your drinking is an addiction and a disease. Is drinking in sweat socks addiction and diseases for you, too? Not yet. Don does not eat his scabs. <laughs> Did you used to eat scabs when you were a kid, Fuzzy? No, I was afraid of scabs. <laughs> they I actually remember, scared me. There's some people that literally eat their own skin. That it's like... Uh, uh, a strange urge that they have. My brother Corky would sit there and pick the skin, the dead skin off of his feet. He'd pick a callus or something and would sit there watching TV, having a meal on 
toe uh, skin. I'll eat skin, but I won't eat scab. I have a niece that's really young, like three or four. She will pick her nose and eat until it bleeds. And her mother's so freaked out that the nose will start and bleed. She's dug in so deep. She's just picking her nose raw. And I'm like, I think she needs some kind of iron or something. You know, like the her little body is just trying to get some kind of nutrient that can only come from the snot. <laughs> trying to find it anywhere I can get it. Here's uh, Bill. Bill, you're on Run Fed. Hello, Bill. Yeah, hey, you need to look up gimp in the dictionary. Cause those are the freaks in the carnivals that eat anything. Sure. That's Billy, okay? The, the, uh, he is the champion of the gimps and he the geeks. He is the gimp, gimp king. I, yeah. I always thought it was a geek that would do that, would bite the head off a uh, chicken. Is that called a, a circus geek or a circus gimp? I thought a gimp was just somebody who had a limp. I thought a gimp had a limp. I thought a geek was just the nerd. No, that came later. But a circus geek, they used to go around like uh, around the turn of the century, the first time, I in think the 1900s, and they would bite the heads off the chickens and whatever, and people would show up and see shows just like Billy put on for us tonight. I think in that t context, I think geek is the right word. Yeah. That sounds familiar. The, the you know, chewing on <laughs> the it, word geek down. sounds familiar to you. Wonder where you heard that. I want to. I really want to uh, ask you this, Billy. Do you think you could bite the head off a chicken? Live chicken. Live chicken's a little big. Maybe a smaller piece of fowl. Like a chick. Or a game hen. Parakeet or something. You could bite off a parakeet's head. <laughs> yeah. Nice little parakeet or a dove or a pigeon. Uh, here's the thing: a chicken head pops off easy, though. You can actually pull it off. Yeah, but they got a beak. Yeah, but you're not near that. How can you not be neither if you got to put the bite in your mouth? I don't think you're at the neck. All right, Fe Fez, let me ask you this. And I know you're, uh, you're a meat eater, but could you reach over with your hands and snap the neck off the chicken? No. I don't think I could do it either. I'd There's no way. I'd separate them too. When my dad was little, they used to actually go get the live chicken, and they would hang it upside down on the clothesline while it was kicking. And Grandpa would take the hatchet and lop the head off while it was dangling upside down. And then the big kick was they cut it loose from the clothesline. It would hit the ground, and they would watch that thing, the old adage, chicken with its head cut off, run around the yard until it stopped. It's nice to know that you don't come from white trash. <laughs> no, I guess, and you know, in those days, probably that's how everybody got fresh meat. I mean... We act like, oh, you know, but people, you, you know, had to clean their own food. Yeah, you weren't going to find it frozen. But why the clothesline? Why, why, did, it ha why, why did it have to be hanging? Couldn't you just... I think it was, if it was tied up to the clothesline, I... then it's a clean shot. You know what I mean? You know Instead what I of did? trying to hold it. Maybe they were trying to bleed it. Oh, yeah, it was probably to drain it. And then that was part of the running around part, too. Did, until... they, did they used to uh, bleed pigs and stuff like that in those days? And Yeah, yeah. Now, when you kill a deer, I never... Uh... Did that with a deer? You have to bleed it all. I know you got to gut it, right? Right. I I would imagine, yeah, you have to bleed a deer. I would think so. I don't know for sure. I'm sure there's plenty of deer hunter that would. All right. Uh, this was sent in to us. Geek is the carnival act that uh, does bizarre acts such as biting off the head of a chicken. So Billy, you are the Ron and Fez show geek, right? Thank you. With a title problem. And a gimp is just somebody with a bad leg. So you're so, actually both. Yeah. <laughs> you have both titles. Wow, two times, two times. And you're also the Run and Fest show limp. <laughs> well, yeah, 